Hey guys, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. It's DJ Gamer Girl, signing on. So, last episode, we beat the Holy Grail. I'm not even going to try and pronounce its real name because, my god. <laughs> um, and everything went back to normal for a bit. And then someone, most likely the ruler of this palace messed with reality because Futaba mo Futaba's mother's alive, Haru's father is alive, and Mona is a human. The only ones who even seem to notice these changes are you know the main character, Akichi, and Kasumi. So we're going to explore the palace. Unfortunately, I can't change Kasumi's outfit, so she's gonna be the only one in Phantom Shadow attire. There seems to be a treasure chest. Whoa. This place feels different than it did last time. Hmm. That was a few months ago, wasn't it? There could have been a change of heart since then. Do you remember how far you went in last time? I think it was just beyond that door. That's where Senpai came to help me. I see. So you're only familiar with the area close to the entrance. Now, let's keep going. Let us depart. I can feel it. What are we even looking at? Um, strange. This poster is out of place. And why is this palace filled with people? These people exist only in the cognition of the palace ruler. They're like life sized dolls, in a way. Although we still don't know how the ruler perceives things that would cause them to appear. I see. Dolls, huh? I never would have guessed. They seem so real. This is, uh, this is where we initially snuck in. Yeah. Or... Most likely got out. people here. This is definitely different from the last time. Welcome, and thank you for coming, Patience. You will be guided to one of our special specialty care facilities according to your individual desires. We will assist each and every one of you. Rest assured, everyone can become happy. Should you have any questions about the facilities, feel free to bring them to our staff members nearby. Mm. What a strange announcement. Become happy. What kind of pla what kind of place is this? I hate it when I'm right sometimes. You aren't among those who desire salvation. We have business here. Leave! You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. 
We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? Uh. Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes. Ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Make that double support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. It's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. A catchy son. Now, time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. Persona. Loki. Good. Persona. Ravage them. Let's dance. There we go. Good. One got knocked out. Persona. Thunderion. Good. One got knocked down. Yeah, yeah. Slice him, Dad. I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Especially considering the last-minute arrangement of our team and all. <sighs> Again, long story, Kasumi. Yoshizawa-san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so, I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. Yep, this is his normal. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. Were you really being quiet? Either that or Akechi has really good ears. Focus. Expecting that safe room. The cognitive effects are weakened. It's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? Let's do it. Now, let us depart. Father. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. 
Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? That was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? But how was this video? You okay? I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. Hmm. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? Uh, after transferring here. I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. Well, we technically just started, so yes. There's no way we'd be at the end of the powers already. I feel like this is the right way. So before then, I want to go, considering there was a cutscene as well. I want to go here. Especially if there's any. This is so much fun. I can feel it. Treasure. Oh, it's a Now we can move on. this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. Misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. <laughs> A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. Into things. 
Just calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. This is it. Time your attacks with mine. Uh, right. Brute force won't do anything here. They're resistant to physical attacks. Come. There. Persona! Let's finish this! Oh, no! Persona! <laughs> okay. Persona! Great. Despair takes away his SP. Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh? Our son, your. I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now. We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? As you wish. Head on down. I'll meet you there. He agreed to that much more readily than I expected. Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. Kasumi, are you okay? Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine, really. Let's go. <laughs> Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? I can see it. Yeah. 
Yeah, my voice. It was definitely him. I'll reveal your true form. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Well, time to be on our way. Okay. Focus. We managed that one nicely. Is he this palace's? It's been quite a while, hasn't it? Dr. Maruki! Glad to see you're all doing well. I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well, to use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler. But in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? You created it? That's right. I have gained the power to alter reality. To make it whatever the people wish for. I didn't wish for this. Is that how you really feel? The old reality was cruel and unfair. The truth is, Yoshizawa-san suffers immense pain each and every time she taps into her forgotten past. My... past? Dr. Maruki? What do you mean? What's happened to me? Alright. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. Today was brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? It's not that. <sighs> Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. But you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <clears throat> hey, wait up! <clears throat> Kasumi's the one that people want. Oh, look where you're going! The light's red! <clears throat> hey! Yeah! Yeah! The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Sumire, stop! Listen to me!
Sorry. Uh, seems you remembered. That's right. I'm... Kasumi? Kasumi? No. That's not right. I'm... I'm not Kasumi. The girl named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. It was last spring, before I started at Shujin. We were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams, and even her life. I'm her younger sister, Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister. She just told us that. But for months now, she's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? Yeah, the pocketbook we pick up, we picked up. It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him. If Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi, so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right. Limited as it was, I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. My work will convert the wishes of the people into reality. Even as we speak, my research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This... palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. Where would you stop? You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. Is that truly so salvation? The cruelties of history will vanish, and everyone will live their lives just as they've always dreamed them to be. If you don't call that salvation, then what would it be? And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, 
That sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... <laughs> I... Don't be manipulated. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm sorry, Senpai. I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. Oh, well, it's not her I'm judging. It's you. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? I'll find my own happiness. No deal so far, huh? D no! Put her down! Let her go! What do you think you're doing with her? I won't harm her. It's in her best interest that you turn back. You've made clear that you reject the reality she desires. The reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa. <sighs> this isn't reality. It saddens me when you speak that way. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. He's playing God. A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. Agree, though. It seems we're out of options here. The f what kind of shadow is that? That does not look like any kind of persona I can get. <sighs> Time to fight. Are you ready? Keep up and don't embarrass me. I should be saying that about you. <sighs> Without Kasumi, I'm going to need to switch to... That should do. I'm going to need to switch to healing duty. Both MP or items? Items would probably be better. Persona! Go down! Try. 
Am I even trying? He's putting me to. <sighs> Okay. No, such pathetic attempts won't be enough. This just won't go down. We're about to lose. Accept his mercy. Give yourselves over to him. Did you just quit running your mouth already? I'm going to shut that thing up. Give me a hand. Will do. He'll die. It's showtime. Let's go. Than dying, cause we were about to die. Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Let us help her. That I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go, look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. We'll meet again one week from today, January 9th. I genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. <sighs> he got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. What say we head back for now? I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. I'm worried about Sumire. I think it'd be suicide to march back in there at the moment. We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been. So this is the reality that Maruki created. There's no point in obsessing over it now. I should go back to my room. Mona. Welcome home. You sure were out late. It's me. I discovered something that I thought I should tell you right away. 
I called Yoshisawa-san's house to see what I'd learned. They believe she's been at training camp since yesterday. To think Marugi is really changing our physical reality as he sees fit. It's scary. No kidding. This is the first time I've witnessed a power that even comes close to this magnitude. Even the great phantom thieves you're so proud of fell in line with his scheme. You're going to see if you change their minds, aren't you? Well, fine. I suppose we can use the mad power. If you can actually bring them to their senses, that is. That's wholly dependent on whether or not they're capable of leaving the reality they supposedly wished for. I'll focus on investigating Maruki further. You do what you need to. Got it. Well, I'll reach out to you should anything come up. Good night. Was that a catchy? You two seem to be getting along well lately. Hey, so I was thinking. Why don't us Phantom Thieves all go to a hot spring together sometime? Then Lady On and I can... <laughs> How's that? How's that sound? Perfect, right? We should ask the rest of the game soon. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it, Norris and Kuhn. It seems this reality is the one that Morgana wished for. Alright, we gotta hit the hay for today. The the bed may be a tad too cozy for the both of us. Elbow, oh, well, I'll just start sleeping on the sofa instead. Are you happy? Huh? Where's this coming from? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm happy. We used to sleep together! <laughs> Nah, screw it. Yeah, I can still remember how much you hated it when I'd curl up on top of you. Wait, curl up on top? That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamashita's palace, that's when I met you guys. When we'd go to Mementos, I'd transform into a... Keep thinking it through. Huh? Uh, okay. I got to be useful for humans that I admire so much. Nothing could make me happier. What was... Sorry, I'm gonna go out and do some thinking for a bit. You should get some sleep. Seems all I can do now is wait. Maruki said that your friends are already enjoying it. I should go see them. Where is everyone? I should look for them while I check around the town. Uh, let me see. Where was... Where is Sojido's house? Whatever. Hmm? I can't deal with this. Cool. I'll just follow the exclamation. Cool. This 
let's go to a different area. Where though? On is here. She's probably downstairs at the mall as usual. Shiho! I know you could! It's all thanks to you supporting me, on. I really appreciate it. Aw, I'm the one who des I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept up your best effort and now you're finally being recognized. Hmm? Riley! Can't believe it! Over here! Talk about a coincidence! It's been a while since the last time you saw Shiho, huh? Um no time no see, Norris and Kun. Do you remember me? Shiho Suzui, right? <laughs> wow, he remembered me. We didn't even get to talk all that much since I transferred to another school so early into the semester. <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember. What with all what with the bragging. I've told him about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball. Oh on. Sorry you have to put up with all that, Narisakun. Shiho was the MVP at the big meet the other day, too. Not only was she the starting line in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm just so proud of you, Shiho. Jeez. Aw, you're too much. The two of them are beaming with joy. Seems this reality is the one that An wished for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Shiho's coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that Shujin is the top school when it comes to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer, transfer back. After more than a little begging. I was so sad when she transferred to her parents' jobs, but all's well that ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect. Is it everything you wished for? Hmm? What I wished for? Well, I guess you could say so. Any doubts about it? What do you mean, any doubts? Oh, I know I don't. I spent so much time worrying over the... Everything that now I've... Wait, what? But, but... Something is... I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die, but then I met everyone and... I'll be waiting for you. Um... What is that? Shiho's still alive even after all the things that made her want that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Huh? I just On, what's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, um, I'm fine. I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. Well, why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Sorry. Sorry, Riley. I'll call you later. Bye. See you, Norris and Kun. All I can do is wait. Guess I should head home. Oh. Oh, uh, I only have until the 9th to get everyone I want to go in with me. Han seems happy to be with Shiho, who was able to continue playing volleyball. But is this truly how things should be? I should check with the other members tomorrow. Yeah, I only have a few days to get everyone that I want to go into the palace with me to uh, possibly realize, hey, something ain't right. Organa's here. Maybe he knows where everyone else is.
and you're at the Shibuya station. We were just doing a bit of shopping, <laughs> but soon we're going to celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General Award. Your dad is... Come on, Makoto. You don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember dad telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, what groceries do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what Dad would like me to cook. I made eggplant miso soup for your birthday. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how you passed your dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey! Sis! I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. Two of them are beaming with joy. That reminds me. Riley, what brings you out here? Sorry to keep you like this, by the way. I came to see you. Me? Is something the matter? Enjoying the family time? Hmm? Well, of course. You and Sai getting along? Yes. Just as well as always, even when she's busy at work, she always has my back. I couldn't thank her enough for all the... No, but... Wait, something's wrong. Mom died, so Dad raised us alone. And sis... I'll be waiting for you. <gasps> Wait, what are you saying? But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. I just... Makoto, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's nothing. Sorry, Riley. We have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We'll chat again soon. Makoto seemed happy being able to spend time with her father and sister. Alright, how to next? I need my main members back in action before the ninth. Oh, wait, there's Morgana. Hey, you have a minute? Yuji? I think he's he's been doing great this year. I think he's been doing left around the school. He sounded like he usual he usually does. Instead of how he sounded when we when uh this reality initially came into fruition. Shibuya. No, oh, nobody's here. There's 
GG There's Pluto pa? there, Futaba. I thought you just came here to buy a video game. But, but, can't you feel it? All the limited editions in the gaming gear. It's the store's fault for being a one-stop shopping emporium for gamers. So, mom? No, ma'am. Do you think, we're, do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding? Denied. <sighs> Case was dismissed. Hmm? Riley? Hmm? Oh hey, look who stumbled into us. Come on, hurry up and pick something already. You still want to get lunch after this, right? We can take him too now. Oh, what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? Sojido's gonna treat us all to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my Really? Really? Then back to the blonde people! It's curry time! Uh, you eat that all the time, though. That's cause it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. <laughs> Thanks for the glowing review. Sound good, Riley? I know you will know how awesome Sojiro's curry is. It goes great with his coffee. Yeah! Sojiro made it exactly for that reason, and Mom helped to improve for its flavor, too. Mm -hmm. Huh? Something's not... You have to move on. Well, yeah! After all, I've grown a bunch! Wait, what did you mean by that? I'll be waiting for you. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on, why won't you just tell me? I won't let those assorted lies deceive me anymore! <sighs> what was that? Are you alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be the case of raging hormones? Look how serious they've both well, gone. No, I'm sorry, I only see Futaba as a sister. I'm okay! Um, it's nothing! Let's go, Mom. The curry can't wait! Riley's still got stuff to do, I assume. I'll see ya! Huh? Hey, Futaba! Don't just take off like that! Uh, Time well, to head home. we're gonna head on back. Come by for some grub when you're done with whatever it is you're doing. Do I have to look for DG? Like, am I being forced to? How do. How do a Yusuke should be around somewhere? Hey, you have a minute? How do? She was thinking about setting up a shop in Kichi Joji. Okay, Kichi Joji, thank you. How do? I'm coming! I'm coming, Haru. Shibuya, this is Shibuya. Well, I already talked to Maka though, so make me excited for trying to for going to save Haru. Bit bad, bad, bad. Kichi Joji. Yusuke is in Ueno.
There she is. Hmm? With her father as well. The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Yes, I agree. The research says this community is most integrated in high quality ingredients in a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. My! Oh, Brandy Coon! I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you up to? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. There, we're here to inspect the potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman at my school. Oh ho, to think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Or are you truly just friends? Wait! Jeez, father! Don't jump to conclusions like that! <laughs> Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, for such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away. Understand? <laughs> oh, father! Is that jealousy I'm detecting? It has been- it's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. You must truly be a wonderful friend for her. Please, keep being as good a friend to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father... Oh, would you care to do something together, Raidakun? We have a bit of free time, so we can grab a coffee or something. He's a great father, isn't he? Thank you! Yes, he is! Thank you! Although he can be a bit overprotective at times. But he's honest and caring. He really is my ideal father. Has your dream come true? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um... Wait, I just... I'll be waiting for you. Oh, hmm. oh, oh, okay. What happiness can be found through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? What? Just that just now. That was... Haru, what's the matter? Uh, nothing, father. Nothing really. You must be getting exhausted after all the surveying. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have the chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. There's two more members. We have until the night. DG and Yusuke. Oh, we should be able to get to all of them by the night. Who's out and about today, Mona? Hey, you have a minute? UG. Keep thinking about it, Mona. You'll remember. Today and tomorrow we'll get you skate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you got scouted by that college? Whoa! 
pipe down, stupid! I'm not saying for sure or nothing yet. Anyway, just saying the school's gone to word or something like that. Still, that rules! You even made it onto the podium at the Nationals, too! I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you were able to bounce back. No way, man! Nah, uh, you're, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off the team by you guys. Hmm? Really? What are you doing here? Still want to break. Oh, maybe he stopped by to congratulate you. Man, someone sure is popular. Is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. Oh, that's nice of you guys. How about an extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, why don't you come with us, Riley? Happy you can run now? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, of course, but... What's up all of a sudden? So your leg's fine now? Hey! My leg? Ah, oh, you're worried about me. It's totally fine, dude. No problems there since that injury a while back. And that was actually Kamashita's fault, so... Wait, what? Ain't something wrong here? How do we know each other, anyhow? First we met in front of the station by the school, then... I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never. Here it goes! Ah! <laughs> Just charges down the boat! Whoa! What the hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya. Sorry, I gotta get back to practice. See ya! Last day. Let's go get Yusuke. Hey, you have a minute? You can see if it's at the art museum. Unfortunate. A lot of these got a lot of them seem like I, I feel really bad with messing with with Putaba Makoto. Just Haru. Coincidence. Ah, you came too, Riley. I was just thinking about contacting you. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. I figured your mother would be alive too. It's on display for this week only, so I'm glad to have this chance to view it together. <laughs> I'm truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Nothing in the world can make me more happier than I am at this moment. Whose patronage was that? Indeed. Why, my sensei, of course. Marame. Even after Mother's passing, Sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I was lo when I lost my only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. This case is so happy. Ah, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei's been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry, he'll even pay for the meal. Is Madarame a good sensei? 
Yes. Yes, I'd say so, but what is this about so out of the blue? Where else could that be? What do you say? Where else could it- No, wait. That's odd. I can distinctly recall having Hanel the Blonde and... I'll be waiting for you. I... What is- Could I be making the same mistakes as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madarame's disordered destires. Destires! Okay! Sure! Destires! The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what transpired. <clears throat> Riley, I... My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry. But I'd like to be alone for now. Hey, that's all of them. Now we just have to hope and pray some of them snap out of it. At least. If they all snap it's out of it, that's great. Even better. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. By all means. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? He told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. So his research was stalled. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. I mean, we just met them! Or, wait. Like, that whole thing's just been... erased? They aren't mere illusions, or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. Oh. What happened to Shido? Shido was the only one arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. It seems the Phantom Thieves were causing a stir in this society as well. But there's no record of your arrest now. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. What do you make of it? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? 
Godiva. With Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Oh my god, stop with the hemming and hawing, Mona, just say it! Good night. Tomorrow we meet with Maruki. I should go to bed early tonight. So you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. I'm sure they'll come around. Oh yes, because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Nice, he's got a point. Uh, nah, you know what? Let's go. How about this? Now, let us depart. Excuse me, is, uh... Whoa! Uh, hey guys. <laughs> we have come to stage an intervention. You need to stop being an idiot. It looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day... Something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going... His words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... Like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So in that case... What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> ah, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey... Do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened. But still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be. But, but I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is going to end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important, and I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from... whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. 
It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh? Oh, there we go. They've broken through. Now hurry up and get your asses here. Please. I don't want to fight Maruki with just me and Akichi. We might be way well. under... Uh, like, under... Underpowered. Let's figure out where, where Maruki is first. I don't want to waste any time wandering around aimlessly. We encountered an information guide after going up that elevator. If he intends to welcome us in so graciously, perhaps we'll come across another guide soon. <laughs> ah, before I forget. I suspect the battles here are going to get even tougher from here on out due to our lack of manpower. If I must. Focusing on our own abilities is fine and all, but depending on the situation, it'll be more efficient to team up. The combination move we pulled off before, that wasn't half bad. All right. Of course, that all depends on whether or not you can keep up with me. Speak for yourself. Okay, we're really gonna go through all of this again? I have a safe room. Oh well. I think it was somewhere around here. VIP patients identified. We will now begin the the grand tour. The auditorium is now open. The master awaits you there with the patient you seek. Please enter through the door on the left-hand side of the entrance hall. Hmm. Just as I thought. They're politely informing us of their location. That must be the door. Let's go. Press on then. This is perfect. Da ba da 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 Sheesh. Getting stuck on a wall. Go down. That's one enemy immobilized. Let's go. Finish it, Joker. Let's show them our real power. They were too weak to be a threat. Joker, there's a chest. Black rock. There seems to be a safe. It's a safe. I should write something. We don't know what may be waiting for us. Let us explore carefully. Hey. Such hospitality in a house of all places. Hospitality, there are still enemies. What hospitality? Hmm. There's no doubt that Maruki is up ahead. Make sure you're ready. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. I have no idea what to expect from Maruki, okay? Thank you for coming. Did you do something to her? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. 
Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. This reality. I'm so sad when she transferred for her parents' jobs, but I was one of them as well. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to creating such an impactful work. Please, I want you to understand. For their sake, as well as yours. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. Really? Then back to the blah, people! It's curry time! Oh, father. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? Friends want to stay in this reality. That doesn't seem right. I got captured in a Kamashita's palace. And that's when I met you guys. Then, when we'd go to Mementos, I transform into it. But is that really true? Well, it's time. <sighs> if I accept Maruki's offer, my friends and I will be able to live happily in this reality he's created. Or so he says. If we stay in this world, we really could lead happy lives free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted to allow for the new circumstances. There's probably no way to avoid that. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. I can't accept this reality. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. Don't hide from the truth. But why? This pain is too much! Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever, and, and it's all my... All Sumire's fault! I can't live that kind of life! Please, don't try to stop me. If you do, then I'll... Don't do this. How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Please, don't make me do this. And I'm dizzy. Persona! Sandalfon! There. Persona! Persona! Please don't do this to me! Persona! Why are 
are you doing this to me? Please, just leave me alone! Sondrion! Not yet! Sona! Looks like you lost. Why? You need to stop. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. <laughs> you stay away from her. I can give you strength. So you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Tell me. If you want your pain to end and desire to live as Kasumi. I'll actualize it! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, Escape from the nightmare! <laughs> no, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> And now we're flat out fighting her persona. I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. And two shadows. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. <laughs> it ate the smaller one? What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Oh. Oh, they duty. They got they got your duty. Persona. Thing. 
I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, such coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. We can't afford to waste time on this shit! Here it comes! I don't think so! Oh, you guys made it! The hell took you so long? Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush him by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. I knew you'd be here. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? Yoshi's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? It's not what's never... Ugh, so much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first. Right, Joker? All right. Let's get in formation. Okay, guys. Leave the navigation to me. Let's push it back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? For my joy! It's time! You're mine! Now, 
my dream won't be. The clock strikes midnight. You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our oh, joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No. Never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. And that's one thing we'll agree on. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting, if that's what you really want. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's gotta rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? I should tell them what I know so far. So, oh, Dr. Maruki, he altered our reality to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right! Akechi! There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. He's hoping. For now. So you're not here to fight us. I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here. Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, 
Shouldn't we join forces and improve our arts? <sighs> Morning, sleepyhead. I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey, hey! She's. Yoshizawa, are you all right? I. Are you okay? Oh, yes. I'm sorry that I. Caused you all so much trouble. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can. Oh, yeah, third semester starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before. Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. Hey. I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom? Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well... What about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way, too, now. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What's that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat. I am not a... Oh wait, yeah, I guess I am a cat. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just... Bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. That being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I've totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. Are you... It's okay if this is painful. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. <sighs> what, you got something to say? You've gone cat again. Hey, don't rub it in! I did it to help you, alright? Sheesh. All this trouble with Yoshizawa and Mayuki. We've got nothing but problems right now. Yep. For now, we should all meet up at the hideout. We gotta recap the situation and hold a strategy meeting. Can I pet you? I 
I've been trying to wrap my, wrap my head around all of this and it's just not happening. I can't think straight at all. I can hardly blame you. I'm still so confused to myself. Either way, I think we've all earned a bit of rest. Maybe a good night's sleep will help us cal all calm down. You're right. Certainly the combat has us tired out as well. We could use some time to decompress. And on that note, good night. Well, we're going to need time to figure all this out. Either way, we can think about this tomorrow. For now, we should go to sleep. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, well, we've got 25 days to either confirm or deny Maruki's reality. And either take him out or join him. I don't know if we'll be able to get through all 25 days in one episode. That'd probably be the finale. Probably. I don't know. So, till then, this is Gamer Girl, signing off. Bye-bye.